in this video i want to go over prepaid plan and uh, prepaid plan is different from pay as you go plan uh, in a way that uh, you know in pay as you go plan every month you know uh, our system would place an order on behalf of your customer and that's when they would be charged for that particular delivery but prepaid is where you are asking merchant to pay upfront you can say something like hey we're gonna be delivering you every week but we wanna be paid upfront for 12 weeks and after 12 weeks obviously it's gonna be re renewed for another 12 weeks and so on so that's what prepaid is so let's set up one th uh, one plan together and uh, then uh, we'll we'll see how it actually looks on the uh, on our merchant portal as well as it's little uh, it's it, it's very interesting to see prepaid order on Shopify as well. So I want to go over that too. So this one I'm gonna call it tire subscription prepaid, and I'm gonna assign all products tire products to it. And over here, instead of pay as you go, I have two prepaid, advanced prepaid. Now, advanced prepaid, the difference between prepaid and advanced prepaid is simple. Prepaid is that, you know, after the first cycle, let's say if you want to set up something like uh, every 12 weeks, you need to pay for all, all, all 12 weeks, but delivery would be every week. But after that, it should stop then you go for prepaid. But if you would want it to renew for another 12 weeks after the you know first 12 weeks are over, then you go for an advanced prepaid. So essentially prepaid is nothing but a uh, derivative of advanced prepaid only. And that's what is happening even in our app. So I'll just stick to advanced prepaid over here. So fulfillment frequency is like how often you're gonna del deliver your the product to uh, your customer. So I'm gonna say every week. And billing period is uh, like how often they should be charged. So we want every 12 weeks. Uh, uh, again, this is something this was discussed even on uh, uh, pay as you go plan. You can check out the video for set order date. This is similar set billing date. instead of order date. It would be billing date, but your concept is similar. So I'll skip that over here. All, all I would call it a weekly plan. And uh, I wanna offer discount to my customers for prepaid and I'll say I'm gonna give 10% discount. And uh, uh, is there anything else? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna stick to one frequency, which is weekly, but as you could, uh, as you can see my in my other videos, I've gone over adding multiple frequencies like weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. So I'll just save it. And now I'll go to my store catalog all right so we have we are seeing 162 dollars over here and uh, you can say say 162 dollar per delivery over here you even see more details like the total price is going to be 1944 price for every delivery is 162 dollar and obviously as i mentioned in my past videos too you can instead of having tooltip you can have a static text over here as well and you have a lot more control over what you want to show here as well so i'll just do add to cart and you see it's 1944 over here it says weekly plan 2 and let's actually go ahead and buy it because i also want to show you the order screen for this particular order it's going to be different uh different from pay as you go plan again it's a test store so i'll do 4242 All right, the order is placed. Subscription would be created, but before we even check out subscription, let's check out this order 1006. So I go here, I see 106. And what the interesting thing is, you would see that it has, this one is scheduled uh, uh, July 29th, uh, but this one is August 5th, August 4th, and so uh, there is one unfulfilled, unfulfilled, and then there are all these that you are supposed to be scheduling. You can see. So this is something you need to do it on your end now. Uh, uh, this is gonna because it's within Shopify. 
uh, we do not have much control over it, but I'll show you uh, in prepaid what uh, other things you can do from our end. So now if I go to subscription, you see it saying 1006 plan. Over here, you pretty much see what you used to see for um, uh, for the pay as you go plan, but uh, a few things are different. You have now order frequency is 12 week, delivery frequency is one week. This wasn't the case in uh, pay as you go plan. There was just one and uh, you have upcoming fulfillments uh, which this view is similar to what you see over here and from our end you uh, we are also providing you a uh, capability to skip a fulfillment if you want and uh, upcoming orders is basically for the billing part of it like uh, 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 it's every 12 week right that's why you're seeing october 14th after that uh, order would be renewed for january january 6th and so on and again uh, feel free to, if you are trying it out first time, a time billing is actually going to place an order on behalf of your customer. So be careful about that. Uh, but yeah, everything else is same. So hopefully that clarifies about uh, prepaid plans.